everyone and happy Easter. It's Leslie Waters here and I'm going to show you a fabulous dish to cook over Easter because Easter to me says chocolate and this is a mega salty chocolate pudding. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to preheat your oven to about 180 degrees Celsius. And you want to get yourself uh, an oven dish that will hold about two litres. All right, now this will serve about eight people. Take a little bit of butter and just lightly grease your gratin dish, all right? Now, when you see me make this, it's going to look a bit strange because I'm not, for the first part of the recipe, I'm not actually going to put a lot in here because what we're going to do is have a wet bit and a dry bit. And what happens is the dry bit will then turn into the chocolate sauce. Anyway, you'll see. So, start off, first of all, by beating together the caster sugar and the butter, like so. Now you want to get that really light and creamy, probably when it first starts off it will look quite yellow, but just keep beating it and it will go lovely and fluffy and light. Next thing you want to add are your eggs, and you can just add those one at a time. In they go. I'm probably using medium size eggs, but honestly, it doesn't matter if they're large. And then just beat them in. Now you can make this in a food processor if you want to. This is a great one to make with the kids um, because it's easy to do. And it's almost like magic the way you get that sort of self-sourcing pudding. Serve it with ice cream, clotted cream, creme fraiche or coconut cream, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Okay, you can see those eggs have gone in really lovely and it hasn't curdled and it's looking good. So now I'm going to add the milk. This is just ordinary milk. And I'm just gonna pull that through like so and just mix that through. And at this stage, if you want to use a whisk, then that is absolutely fine. I'm using a spatula here. And what I'm now going to do is to add the cocoa and the self-raising flour. Make sure that this is self-raising flour, okay? Because that's gonna help it puff up a bit. So the flour goes in along with the cocoa. Just hold the sieve like that and just sift it through. Now that's probably the most difficult bit done. Mix it together really well. Get your tin ready, make sure your oven's switched on. And then what you're going to do is tip the whole lot into the gratin dish. Make sure you get right round so you incorporate everything together. Now the thing about this dish is that you need to eat it as soon as it comes out of the oven. It's not a great one to make ahead of time because you will lose the sauciness of it. So it's one of those, and it doesn't take long to cook, Okay, that's looking good. So now I'm just checking I've mixed everything in and I'm just gonna take that and I'm just gonna pile it in the center of the dish. It's good to use a spatula because you can just scrape everything out. Okay. Use the spatula and once it's in, you can then spread out evenly Okay, all right, now boil up a kettle and measure out about 600 mils, that's a pint of boiling water. And put that into a jug. Spread it all over like that. Don't waste any. Or give that to someone to enjoy. Just gonna wipe my hands. And here's the weird bit. Okay, this bit will seem very, very strange. What you're going to do is you've got a mixture here of more cocoa powder and light muscovado sugar. 
and it's almost like making pastry. You're going to rub those two things in together really well. And this is a thing that is going to make your chocolate sauce. Don't worry if you've got a few lumps of sugar in, but just kind of rub it together with your fingers. This is a job you can get the kids to do. And then just pick it up like that and then just scatter it evenly over the chocolate. And you'll think, oh, this looks a bit dry. Dry, it is not. You will see. It takes about 35 to 40 minutes to cook. So that is muscovado sugar. You want the light one, not the dark one, and the cocoa. Finally, this is before, look at the state of my hands. Finally, boiling water, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna pour it over. And this is the secret. This is what is going to make your saucy, deluxe saucy chocolate pudding. So this is going into the oven now for about 35 to 40 minutes until it's just set but still saucy. So as I was saying, you can serve this just with straight cream, ice cream, but we're going to make a sort of coconut and orange cream. Now for this I'm using half double cream, which you want to put into a bowl and do it by hand. Don't use the electric beater because it's so easy for this amount of cream to over whip it until it just looks a little bit like whippy ice cream, okay? It's lightly beaten. Into that, you then want to add the grated zest of an orange. Orange and chocolate, really nice together. If you don't like orange, you could maybe put in, for something a little bit different, you could put in some grated lime zest or just have a coconut cream without any zest in at all. So just grate that in. Don't use the juice, just use the zest, because that's the thing that is gonna have the flavor, okay? So to get it out, give it a good old tap on the top, and then you can pick that up and put it into your cream. Now you're also gonna add a very unusual ingredient into this cream. Stay with me, a tiny pinch of salt, okay? And then coconut cream, equal quantity to the cream. So it's about 200 mils of each. And then just slowly stir. It's almost like a coconut custard. I had this flavor with salt and coconut when I was in Thailand and something amazing about it, especially when you're having it with very sweet puddings. You get that sort of salty coconut coming through. All right, so this won't be thick cream. It's almost more like a pouring cream. And now I'm just going to taste it to make sure that I'm happy that I've put in enough salt. touch me and a little more orange zest and it's nearly time to have a look at that pudding. okay so I've just taken this out of the oven and let's have a little look in here oh look at that you can see that sauce in the bottom there that is ready to serve oh look at that finish off with just the dusting icing sugar and serve alongside your coconut cream mega saucy chocolate pudding with coconut cream.